<clears throat> Hi Collective, it's Natalie here um, with another channel message for you guys. I hope everyone is doing well today. So this is going to be for all signs. Please put yourself in the situation that belongs to you. Please use your discernment when it comes to these readings, okay? Uh, not everything is going to resonate with everyone. If you booked a personal reading with me already, um, I didn't forget about anyone, all right? And we will definitely see what spirit needs you to know. Um, let's see, any more messages before I start? I think that's everything that I want to tell you guys. Okay, if you look down in my description box below for you down there, I am um, promoting Madam Glam. So check that out, ladies. If you wanted to see the many beautiful nail colors that she has, okay? So check that out if you wanted to. All right, so let's check out what's going on with the collective. What do they need to know? What is the message? Let's get a message from our ancestors to start off. Getting a lot of anxiety and I cannot shake it. And I don't even know where it's coming from. Okay. So this might not be your guys' energy. This could be someone else's energy. Okay, so we have this solar plexus chakra. Okay, so that's that energy within inside of you that lets you know that something here needs to be done. That's a lot to do about willpower. Okay. I'm also getting like sudden changes. You're going to have to adapt to something. Okay. That could be where the anxiety is coming from. You needed to adapt. Okay. It might not even be that you did anything wrong collective, but it's more like you guys need to adapt to a certain mindset and it could be like sort of stressful for you. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the collective. What is the message? What do they need to know? Higher heart activation. Dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. Okay? Your heart is indestructible, I just heard. Your heart keeps healing itself. Okay? Then we have this third eye activation, brow chakra, inner vision, and clear seeing. Yeah, you guys have a clear vision of what's going on right now. So this is good energy to be in. We also have this chamber of the violent flame, karmic release, radical transformation. Yeah. Something about this fire within you guys, right? It's it's exposing a lot of people and it's causing a lot of change within your energy, okay? You're being called to keep your energy high around this time. Um, you're also being called to keep your third eye just wide open. It's like you just see something or you're being called to pay attention. Just pay attention to something, okay? Yeah, the halls of learning. You guys are still learning things out here. So just keep it wide open. You guys are doing something a lot differently than your ancestors have done or you're doing something a lot differently than what your family lineage, ha lineage has done, I'm hearing. Hmm. So we have the higher heart and the third eye. Seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing things from a higher point of view. Okay. Let's see. What else is going on with my collective right now? Holy Spirit, angels, what do they need to know? What is the message? I hope you guys can hear me. Sometimes my mic does that buzzing noise. What is the energy, please, for my collective? Holy Spirit, angels, what do they need to know? All right. Any energy, please, for the collective? Holy Spirit, angels, what do they need to know? Trust the universe. Yeah. So you're being called to trust the universe right now when it comes to a certain situation. I'm getting an anxiety from somebody out here. I don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, full moon and Taurus detoxify. Okay. Trust that the signs will be given to you when you need them. Don't go searching for the signs. You know what I mean? A lot of us, you know, with intuition or a lot of people who claim they have intuition, they do a lot of like thinking hard. You know what I mean? Look. A lot of the energy doesn't even need to be thought about. You just need to do. You need to act upon it. Okay? Oh, yeah. And does do what your heart says, too. Not just your third eye. Okay? So we have escapists. Come home to yourself. You will get these messages when you're home by yourself. Okay? You can't be around other people while you're getting these messages. Yeah, because there's people around you. Evil queens around you that aren't giving you what you deserve. 
Focus on the here and now and don't doubt your worth. If you guys are traumatized by your past in any way, shape, or form, just keep going. Don't doubt your worth, okay? Okay? Just trust that the universe is doing what needs to be done about the situation. I feel like you're releasing karmic energy. It's like you're going through the fire is what I just heard. Definitely a karmic release out here. Yes, adversity, health. Adversity is healthy is what I just heard. It's healthy to go through adversity. You have to go through certain things. Someone out here is not really trusting their intuition though. Love. Someone out here isn't trusting their intuition while they go through adversity though. I don't know why I'm getting that. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, it's like you accept challenges. It's like it's, it is what it is. It's like game on. That's healthy. I'm hearing healthy competition, okay? Healthy competition. So if people are in competition with you, just transmute it into healthy competition. And what they're going to have to do is respect you for that, okay? There's a way to compete. If people want to compete with you, just say, all right, I'll compete with you. <laughs> I'll compete with you, but it's going to be healthy. You're not going to like it. People are, are experiencing a lot of karma, okay, while you're going through an awakening. Someone here is awakening to the fact that they're going through karma. Something about companionship and individuality. Wow, okay. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift, and we have extraordinary with love out here. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation, only love itself and letting go. So you guys are letting go of the idea that you need a companion also. Yep. Yep. You're letting go of the idea that you need a companion and you're also letting go of the idea that everybody needs to like you. You're letting go of the idea that everybody needs to uh, help you too. You're just going to be like, all right, you want to compete with me? I guess I got to compete then all right it's like that type of energy yeah new levels new devils it's like you guys are elevating this is what you're being called to do it's like whatever adversity that you guys are going through right now you're on the right path yeah justice nobility doing what's right balance karma you're, you're you can handle this yeah could be some sort of scorpio out here that's obsessed with you or you're going through a death or a transformation out here Give me energy, please, for this reading. Holy Spirit and angels, what do they need to know? <laughs> Spirit said you're not missing out. So whatever is going on around you, you're not missing out on the collect. I mean, I mean, not the collective, like in the spiritual community. I'm pretty sure we all, you know, we don't want to miss out on each other. I just heard a horn go off. So that's confirmation, but I'm getting more like your community, like where you live. You're not missing out on that. We have balance, temperance, and patience, okay? Just stay balanced, stay tempered. People just want to fight with you, I guess. What else, please, for the collective? Unconditional love. Yeah, something about your guys' energy is just unconditional love coming out for you guys. Third house, thinking, interaction with others, interest in early education. You've always loved others since you were a child. What else, please, for the collective? What do they need to know for this reading? Express your emotions in a healthy way. You guys are able to express your emotions in a good, healthy way. Sleep with the enemy in root chakra. Okay, let me get one more, please, for the collective. Holy Spirit and angels. Someone in here could be trying to throw off your root chakra. Yeah, low vibes. Yeah. There's some sort of enemy out here that's close to you or... Um... Someone out here was sleeping with the enemy or sleeping with an enemy of yours. Yeah, you guys got too much. Yeah, and high vibes is right underneath that. So it's like there's a distinction between you and this person that they slept with or something like that. 
could be a psychic tarot reader out here trying to silence you. It is what it is. Someone here is trying to silence a tarot reader. It is what it is. Judgment out here with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Someone out here is being judged for their... I don't know. Who, they probably sleep around a lot. And they're being judged for that. They're being exposed for that. Okay? You're going to be expressing yourself in the right way. And someone out here does not like that. I'm also getting some some sort of like um you guys could probably do root work or you guys are just really rooted in your beliefs. Like some someone here can't like throw you off balance. Eight of Wands out here, there could be a conversation or communication going on out here. Also, that could be traveling. We have the tower in the verse and the lovers in the verse out here. So it looks like there could be a conversation about a breakup. Yeah, the nine of swords out here. Someone here is worried. Okay. They're worried about some sort of energy coming out. We have Justice out here. Libra energy. Also seeing Gemini, Sagittarius. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles out here. So someone here is like stressed out or they're having anxiety about like what you have going on. That you're very influential. Okay. Yeah. They're going through karma out here, dude. Definitely going through karma out here. They're stressed out because things are balancing out in your life and happening the way it's supposed to be happening. You guys could be experiencing some, some anxiety too, but it's like a good anxiety. You know what I mean? It's like that when you go down a roller coaster, like you're excited, but it's like you guys could be like worried a little bit. Judgment in the five of wands is out here. Some here tried to like cause some conflict for you and these people are being judged. Any more energy, please? Five of Pentacles in the verse. Yeah, you guys got, I don't know, you guys are like out of the cold. King of Wands in the verse of this is the way. Here's the thing. I feel like there's a uh, there's a karmic masculine or someone out here who like, they don't really have much to offer, but they feel like you're their way out of the cold. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Some here stressed out about money. This could be a family stressed out. I'll see what's going on. Three of swords in the reverse. An indestructible heart. Things will always go good for you when people try to hurt you. We have the high priestess in the reverse. King of swords out here. So there's a secret coming out. Someone here got investigated or someone here looked deep within and found something out. Yeah, someone here got caught doing something. That's why they're receiving karma. Mm -mm -mm. It's because someone out here was looking at something. Someone here was looking at the facts or they only know the facts or something like that. This could be a masculine doing this too. Okay, so someone here is being investigated is what it looks like. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse. There's some sort of fight going on and someone here is being detached from. Someone here doesn't want to be around somebody anymore. Someone here... got stolen from. Yeah, there was magic or manipulation going on. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what this is. Hold on. Clarify this nine of swords out here, please, for the collective. Clarify the nine of swords, please, for the collective. Six of swords out here and the seven of pentacles. Someone here is worried that someone here is like actually being serious. I don't know what this is. It's like a, um, yeah, strength in the reverse. They can't hold someone back anymore. Someone here is like really serious is what I'm getting here. Wanting to move forward, wanting to grow up, be peaceful, things like that. This could be your guys' energy or somebody else's energy. It, someone here is stressed out that someone here is being serious or looking at the facts about something or investigating. Clarify. Clarify justice. Ace of Swords, that's the truth, yeah. Someone here is looking at the facts. The Magician out here and the Knight of Cups out here with the Ten of Swords. Someone here is looking at the facts or the, something here is like really clear to somebody in it right now. Everything is balancing out. Yeah, the Nine of Cups in the reverse. It's going to make... Clarify the Eight of Wands. For the Collective. Eight of Wands for the Collective. Knight of Cups. So someone here is going to be messaging somebody or coming towards somebody to give them an offer. Um, 
So now someone here is going through a tower moment because they they feel like they're not going to be getting a blessing or they're not going to be getting some sort of money or abundance out here if this person does this. I don't know what this, this other person was doing behind the scenes. Yes, thank you, Spirit. Someone here failed at the mind games. And they know it. Something about someone's childhood or someone tried to control someone. Yeah, they got to stop that. They got to stop whatever they're doing out here. They got to stop whatever they're doing. So someone here maybe try to hold a masculine back or something and they found out this masculine found some information. They found some information. And they're not happy. They're not pleased with the information that they found out. Clarify the five of pentacles in the reverse for the collective. Three of wands in the reverse. Three of cups in the reverse. Judgment with the devil in the reverse and the five of wands. So not only are they realizing that maybe a third party had betrayed them. They're also realizing and seeing that you're not waiting on them at all anymore. There's no reconciliation going on. You guys are not in the energy of being abandoned out in the cold and waiting on somebody. It's like you're detaching from this codependency energy. Yeah, the queen of pentacles upright. You guys are too mature for whatever is going on out here. So you guys might not even know what's going on. You guys might not even know what's going on right now with this person because it's like you're really focused on things. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. This is about money. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse out here. Someone here is getting dropped. This could be like a work situation where somebody know th knows that they're going to get fired. Yeah, judgment is out here. There's going to be a judgment call being made on this situation. Clarify the uh, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. It's like someone here knows that they're being investigated and they're going to get fired. Yeah, we have the Hierophant out here. This is God doing this. Four of Swords out here, the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, people are going crazy right now. Because of these judgment calls that are being made. Yeah, these people didn't follow the rules. Clarify that Hierophant. Yeah, the first card that came out that said you're not missing out. So whatever is going on in a work situation or a group situation, um, there's nothing really going on. It's just a bunch of people fighting. Clarify the Hierophant. Yeah, the Tower and the Ten of Swords. This Hierophant energy... The divine is bringing something down on somebody. Is ending something for somebody. Yeah, someone here thought that they had something figured out or they thought that they could keep something going or they thought that they could put burdens on someone's back. That's not working. That's not going to work. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term commitment. could also be family. Abundance. Two of Swords out here. Why the Two of Swords? There's something that someone doesn't see. Two of Swords. Yeah, judgment out here. They didn't know they were going to get judged. This family didn't know they were going to get judged. This generation, something about the generation. Strength in the reverse. Seven of Cups. Clarify judgment. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone here is not... Someone here... I don't know what this is. This looks like somebody who was highly respected. They're not respected anymore. Meanwhile, the high vibration of what... Yeah, it's the Emperor in reverse. Someone here that, that try to control things. Three of Swords in the reverse. They're not getting respected anymore or something like that. It's like they're not, I don't know. It's like giving me vibes of, it could be like spiritually they're not respected in the spiritual realm. 
but as above so below right so this person is in the physical realm not getting respected either it's because someone here found something out about them they thought that they could hide it or they thought that they could like keep going with someone someone's been caught clarify the three of swords in the reverse for the collective We have this Queen of Wands out here. Page of Swords wanted to come out. Yeah, some something here has been exposed. I feel like also um, this Queen of Wands upright. You guys are like a leader. Inspirational. Someone here is looking at you guys because you healed. It's like you guys are coming out very attractive because you've healed something. What else for the Queen of Wands? What else for the Queen of Wands? Eight of Swords. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Wands. Someone here is leaving someone behind. So if this is a feminine that I'm talking about out here, this feminine is like leaving people behind and healing from this um, scarcity mindset and people are like watching her and trying to follow her or something. This could be like an energy, yeah, strength in the reverse. Someone here doesn't have enough confidence they don't have the same confidence as you it's like they're really afraid yeah the lovers is out here queen of swords in reverse king of pentacles in reverse the sun in the reverse page of swords in reverse be careful of like if you go into a connection um there could be like someone here slandering the connection or slandering your person so that they don't come towards you someone here might not come towards you though because they don't have enough courage tell me about the five of swords with the knight of knight of cups Five of Swords in reverse the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Six of Wands out here. It's like they want your attention now. They want your attention now. Yeah, the Five of it's gonna cause some it's gonna cause some problems out here because people are being detached from. So the outcome is the Seven of Swords in reverse. Someone here is getting caught. I'm also getting here someone lost lack of res someone lost respect or a trust from the community. That's what I'm getting here. Or from their family. Seven of Swords in the reverse, please, for the collective, Holy Spirit and Angels. Knight of Pentacles. The Hermit in the reverse, High Priestess in the reverse, Six of Cups. Something that they did in the past. I'm hearing they were treading lightly the entire time. Yeah, the full card in the reverse. They did something. They rushed into something and did something really stupid. Wow. I can't make this up. The devil is here. Page of Wands out here. The hangman. Ace of Cups in reverse. Someone here lost respect from somebody. Someone here no longer has respect. Maybe lost respect from the community or lost respect by the spirit realm or something out here. Someone here is losing respect. Because it's someone here been found out or they've been caught doing something. Follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. A moment's regret, nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. So someone out here feels bad for judging someone and then they went deep within and found some info. Everyone's a little different. We're all mad here. What else please for the collective? Messages for a rabbit. So we have this rabbit energy. Someone here went down the rabbit hole and they found some information out. Laws, not justice. Rules that are not fair. And then we have ready to adventure. Precipice of change. Pause before action. I wonder what will happen next. So it's like I feel like you guys are in this energy of like pausing. You like I don't I don't feel like you guys are in this reading. Yeah, keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. Keeping up immense effort in advance. Someone here is also trying to trigger you guys in a way that failed. You guys are way too balanced for this energy. Okay, so this could be like happening around you guys. I really don't feel like you guys, you guys are barely in this reading. Okay. 
But definitely like someone here lost respect or they're like falling from grace from the divine or their family or this group of people, okay? So let's hurry up and get these messages out. Unlimited abundance is out here. So you guys have a limited abundance. Sacrifice. Some here try to sacrifice you. Yes, community gossip. Okay. Something about the community. What else, please, for the collective? Hold on. We also have DNA clearing and income out here. So you guys are definitely clearing out some income from your generational curses. All right. Maybe from your generation. You guys are receiving a lot more income out here. All right, guys. So this is your reading. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Thanks. Bye.